Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm Franz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today it's watercolor basic with aqua painter. These are the aqua painter and they can be found on page 180 in the catalog. The pack come two in a pack and you get the medium brush and then you get the small brush. Maybe they say a medium and large. Uh, one medium brush and one large. So the blue cap would be the large and the clear cap would be the uh, medium. The way that this works, you twist this open and here you get a barrel and you just fill this with water. That's simple. Now when it comes, and again this is completely the basic technique for watercolor with um, aqua painter. It, you can go in a lot more detail but I'm going to show you the basic. These are note cards and the stamp set that I choose for today it's Jolly Friend and even if it's a Christmas stamp set for me it works wonderful for birthday card and it can be many other occasions too. So even if it's in the holiday catalog think outside the box and you're going to find many use. So I wanted to do um more like a boy card, a man card, and the moves go perfectly. It's two things that when it comes to watercolor that I like. It's the shimmer cardstock. Both of them are shimmer cardstock. But today we're going to do one on shimmer. I'm going to do two. That's how quick they are. One on shimmer and one on watercolor paper. And again, it's uh, just the note card that I'm using. So we're going to fold this in two. And the note card already come pre-score for you. And it come with envelopes. So, and I'm a big fan of note cards. Here we go. The shimmer and the watercolor paper measure three by five. Again, it is three, uh, I'm sorry, three by four and a half. And then our mat, I just went a little bit bigger. So I did some in uh, all olive or then in chocolate chip. This is three and one eight by four and five eight. So it's just one line below the, the four and a half and one line above, did I say below? It's above the three in the same. So it's just a tiny bit bigger than the one you're going to color. Now we're using photopolymer. Normally I like to use stays on when it comes to watercolor. Well I am not a fan. This is a personal choice. With a photopolymer I do not like to use stays on. You can use stays on. Do not use the stays on cleaner though. So you're going to use the regular cleaner to clean your tape, um, your uh, stamp. Do not use the stays on cleaner on photopolymer. But because I'm not a fan of uh, stays on with photopolymer, I prefer to use the archival black stamp pad. So that's another choice that you can do for watercolor. Now we're going to do both of them because we need to have them dry. It takes a little bit longer to dry compared to um, the stays on. And I see the first one that I stamped, I didn't have the full, full impression at the top of the head. So that's okay because I'm going to come back. That's the beauty of photopolymer. I'm going to have to move out of the camera there. And then I can come right back on it. Et voila. See, you can have the perfect lined up with that. So now we're going to remove this uh, mat there. I do not need, oh, well, we need it one more time. Let me just wash my, uh, oops, my stamp. And I like to wash this right after I'm done so it's less stained. It's still going to stain. Photopolymer like to get stained. You don't like to stay clean. Put it that way. Here we go. Now we have to do the scarf. Well, 
let's do our coloring first in case if the water go down then uh, it won't make a mess so we're going to use Sarah Sam so I'm going to put the lightest color over there we're going to use chocolate chip the second and then well chocolate chip the last and then soft suede that's the three color that I'm using for um, the mousse uh, for this one, really I'm using the medium color. One thing I like to work in smaller section, and you want to wet your paper first. For me, that make a difference. Oh, I did something wrong. What you want to do is squeeze your ink pad, open it up. That's going to be your palette oh, that you're going to use for your coloring. Squeeze. See, you get your color in your ink pad. I'm so used to open them all up. Here we go. So again, I like to just wet this a little bit. And to make sure that you get your brush wet, you see you squeeze just a little bit. You don't want to squeeze too much and have a puddle. Now I'm going to come in my lid and just circle it a little bit. And then come here. And um, the antler, I just want them light. I don't want the antler too dark. So you see, now I'm going to wet this again. Even if it's some color left on my brush here, I'm not worried. Then I'm going to come get my color. And you can always let it dry and come back, you know. You don't want too much water, but then you want enough. And I see I get a little bit under there. So see, I get a bit of color there. I get a rag. I'm going to make sure I have no color. And I'm going to lift it up. See, you just push it in your thing. So now that pick it up. Now let's go back a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do the face here. And then we're going to do his little tuft there and his ears. So that I'm using soft suede for his face. And I just start the out side of it and I'm not worried about his little tuff like I said we're going to come back and if you see you get too much water on your brush just tap it on a rag you can keep a paper towel by you or a rag I get always an inky rag by me now and here I want to make sure it goes to the top so I just do the out of it and now I'm going to take this and just blend it so that's how you get a bit of shading really in the bottom I can get more color here and then over here not as much but a little bit more see now you get a good shading of it that is it that's the completely basic of this and if you see that it's not enough in your center you would want darker a little bit take again a bit of color and go from the side and bring it in you don't want to start in the middle because then you're going to have all the same color again so you just go from the side and bring it in so that way it won't be all the same color if you start in the center it's going to be all the same color now for his little tooth on the top i'm going to use the chocolate chip make that a little bit darker and i just don't get no more ink and just do his ear They're just the outside not the inside of his ear voila my friend that is it now another step above that if you want a shadow you can use for the shadow you can use smoky slate or soft sky it's a good shadow so again you can squeeze this and then i'm just going to take a little bit and then you would choose a side and then you can do a little bit of shading here There, it's a bit too much. I'm going to push it in. So that's if only if you want some shading. When it comes like to flower in more detail, a lot of time 
I'm going to try to do shading, but I'm not the best one at that. So plain it's good too. Here we go. So now you see it. The antler, I want a little bit darker just on the outside here. So I'm going to come here just on the outside. So I let it dry a bit so then I get a little bit more to absorb. Here we go. That is it, my friend. Okay, we're going to put that aside before we do the... And this one here, it's the same thing. So I'm going to wet this. And um, you, if you try both, you're going to see that a shimmer paper slide or... It don't absorb like the watercolor paper. It's more... Um, I don't know how to explain it it slide a lot easier. So you just have to be more careful on the amount of the color you're going to put. And I'm going to show you one thing. If you start and you don't wet your paper, see I'm going to get color, and you go like this, it want to make a big darker line at the beginning. That's why I don't, it's more it's better if you wet your paper. It's going to slide much better. And here again, I just go around. And then I'm going to go around the other side. But I try to keep this side a little bit thinner. Here we go. So you can play with both paper and see really what you like better. You get, a, like for small detail in that, the watercolor, I think you get a chance to have more detail. Now I'm just bringing the color in, missing some a bit. Again, if it's too much water, just dab your, uh, on your rack. Okay, now. Here we go. See how simple that was? Now I'm going to come with just a tiny bit of chocolate chip. Put that on his head there. Oh, need a bit more there. Here we go. See how this was simple, simple, simple. Okay, so now you get both of them. Now for the scarf, I'm going to show you two of the scarf. So let me close all this here so we don't make a mess. Mix all our ink. For the scarf, I'm using Ola Olive. I was thinking, you know, um, in the wild. So I get the one that it's the full one. Well, that one, it's no biggie. I'm going to take this, put it right below there. And I should add maybe my mat under. It did stamp okay. Okay, now we're going to do the one with the lines in it. Like I did one with the lines. You're going to see which one I'm talking about. And that it's all in the Jolly uh, Friend. Now we're going to use again um, Old Olive. And we're going to put that right there. And now while it's still wet there, you can take your brush and don't you don't even add to add more color. You can brush the ink that it's already there. So it's going to keep the line there and it's just going to fill in between so you get all green scarf. Now for the happy birthday, I use the stamp set in a feather. Is it feather? It is. Yes, Feather Together on page 108. So I'm using that Happy Birthday, and it's exactly the length of this. So I'm going to take this, put my Happy Birthday there, put my Happy Birthday here. Voila. Now we're going to mount that. One's going to be on the chocolate chip, and one's going to be on the old olive. All same size, just different color here. So again, you experience the one with the watercolor, oops, and one with the 
shimmer paper. Both of them are great for a watercolor with the aqua painter. And um, when it comes to ink, um, usually I use stays on when it comes to watercolor. But if I'm using photopolymer, then I'm going for the ar archival. So it's no right and wrong, whatever you prefer, my friends. And here, this one was the watercolor. And the watercolor, it's more rough. It's a rough texture. Get cotton in it, so that's why you can keep on watercolor over and over because it absorbs. Um, I don't recommend regular cardstock for watercolor because it seems by the time you're just finishing your, um, your coloring, you're going to poke through the paper because it's nothing to absorb. Here we go, my friend, the two difference. So the watercolor and the shimmer. Hope you enjoyed this. And again, this is gonna be part of a blog up um, stamping 101 technique. You can visit my blog at frenchystamps.com and right below in the description, you're gonna have the date that it will be on my blog with the blog up. Thank you so much. And for all your stamping up product, visit my blog again at frenchystamps.com. Have a great day, my friends.